Neil with 5,400 insurance registrations. That's for the week of May 20th through the 26th. This is the best weekly number we've seen from Neo in the year of 2024. And it's the second best number we've ever seen on the weeklies. The best being the last week of December with 5,700. So this 5,400 is a very strong number. It's nice to see this. And this a shout out to Thinker Carr, who this visual graph or breakdown is phenomenal because you can see throughout the weeks of a month how the numbers trend up on the weekly side of things. This in tandem with the weekly videos that I've been doing, I didn't realize I've done almost 80 of these videos now. So I've been obviously covering this for a while. This is why I noticed things right away when we saw this uptick. This is the first 5,000 number that we had in the year of 2024. It was the last full week of April. There were a couple of days left after that, but I was sort of like, hey, we need to pay attention now because if we see a better start to the month, which we did, and then a better number essentially moving forward and it's easier to see that right here as you see the numbers start a little higher and then continue to trend higher kind of in line with what i was saying here well it makes sense as to why last week i said hey we may get a new monthly delivery record in may now the question is do the shorts know that are people going to be surprised by that i think that's a fair question with a few days left in the month of may this gets really interesting because we'll get that data June 1st is when Neo will announce their official monthly numbers. But with that right around the corner and then the June 6th earnings, I wanted to highlight this comment and actually share my thoughts because a lot of people are wondering about Neo stock price. And, and so, you know, Frank Martinez, shout out. Thanks for asking the question in my most recent video. He says, hey, Aaron, where do you see Neo stock going after earnings? And I just had to weigh in and, and offer two positives, two negatives. I could see it going either way. And then one big question mark. So let's recap that briefly. I do think a new delivery record right before earnings could be a positive catalyst for the stock price. So that's a positive. However, I don't trust that shorts are done with Neo. So they might try to mess with the stock price after earnings. But back to the flip side, the positive, Neo could surprise with the strong earnings. If that and a new delivery record comes in from May, that could be bullish for the stock price. But back to the negative side, if trade volume is low, and I'm talking about the daily trade volume for NEO, and if shorts are still active in NEO stock, they could still mess with the stock price and take it lower after earnings. And so if we go back in time to the 2020 timeframe where NEO stock made its big run, we saw an average daily trade volume of 80, 100 million shares traded pretty much every single day or more. So we saw that big volume. If the volume is low and shorts are messing with the stock price, it's easier for them to do when there is that low volume so that's just kind of one of the indicators i use to see you know what may or may not be happening in the short short term but here's the big question mark i noted a recent five million fails to deliver number and that could be uh, an indicator of naked shorting going on which essentially is potentially stock price manipulation with that in mind we haven't seen that big of a number that five million kind of number on a single day since back before neo stock made its big run now, this was reported in the beginning of April. So I'm waiting and watching for the fails to deliver number that would be consistent with the beginning of May or when those are reported. It's all lagged, delayed data. So I, I haven't seen it yet. They haven't posted it yet. This could be another indicator of how active shorts are and could tip the scales one way or another. So, you know, my thinking with this is if we see bigger spikes now, then that makes me think that the shorts are more active and there could be more naked shorting going on. There could be potentially uh, more stock price manipulation in play. I just want to have some awareness of it, you know, if it is happening. So then I summarize by saying to Frank, as you can tell from above, I can see both sides for bullish and bearish stock price action. Stay tuned as I'll keep documenting and sharing what I see in this next week or so. Of course, that brings us to this first kind of big data point, 5,400 on the weeklies, a very strong number. Very, very happy to see that. And yeah, I do think it sets the tone for a likely May delivery uh, record or really close to, I think we'll see 20,000 or more deliveries in the month of May reported by NEO on June 1st. So what about earnings? What are your thoughts on that, on the deliveries, stock price up, down? Where do we go? What are your thoughts? Drop it in the comments. I want to hear from you. Have a great day. I'll see you all again very soon.